Hey everyone, my name is Arcane. Thank you very much for watching the video. We're playing some more Uncharted 4 multiplayer, and this is beta test classic mode. And I knew nothing about this mode at all until I actually went on the Uncharted Reddit forums and they were all talking about a new mode that's come out, a new patch. And I'm like, what the hell is this? So I then proceeded to put on my PlayStation 4 and check out what the hell is actually going on. And yes, Behold, there is a new game, a new game mode called Classic Mode. Now, I am not familiar with any of the other previous Uncharted um, 4 multiplayers. I mean, Uncharted multiplayers. So I don't know if this mode is really new, is it old or whatever, but it's new for me. And um, I give it a go. I give it a, a, well, a couple of goes. And then along with the patch came a few bugs and it reset a few things. It actually kept putting me into introduction settings, introduction mode, and then um, it um, kept on freezing as well. So after I figured that out, which it sorted itself out, um, then I actually got back onto classic mode. And obviously, being a new mode and Bounty Hunter being such a success, I was very s excited, you know, to, to, to check this out. And when I first started playing it, I, I did not like it at all. I hated this mode. Um, everyone was just anywhere. You didn't know where anybody was. It was just crazy. It was a nightmare. But I kept playing it. And I just, I really love how I learned how to just play it along with it. And like, I play as I go. And it was just amazing how I just slowly started to like this mode. At first, I had my gun. And then I was like looking for ammo to pick up. And I'm like, hold on a second. Where's the treasure? There's no treasure to pick up. Then I realized, oh my god. You have to pick up other people's guns. What an amazing idea. Um, so there's guns scattered around the whole map, what the enemy drops. And you have to pick their gun, gun up because you'll get no ammo after yours. And you've got to start using theirs. And it's just amazing to go run around the map picking up different weapons. Oh, you can do some awesome combinations. Um... And it really makes you learn to be really good with all the guns. You know, this is like my get good or dr die trying session all in one. You just, you know, I can just use any gun on the map um, and in the, even in the game nearly. Um, but then you have hero weapons that drop um, at certain times during the game, which you have to go pick up. And that is awesome too, because as soon as here yeah, we've got the Harrison here, Harrison, I've never actually even got in the game, so I decided to pick that up, give it a go. But the heavy weapons, as soon as they drop that barrack, that is where I am, because the barrack is my favourite heavy weapon, and I really feel it is so underrated. And um, I wanted to actually do a whole video on that, but that will be coming in the future. But yeah, that is the go-to weapon I pick up, but... I'm still learning, I'm still learning how to actually play this game. And like I said, I've only played a few games. Um, my overall opinion on it, opinion, is it's not as fun as a Bounty Hunter or your regular team deathmatch. Um, but it is, it is good fun just to run around and, you know, kill a few people like you do in any, any other multiplayer mode, really. But yes, this. But what I've noticed another thing is that the games finish really quick as well. This is only like a seven-minute game, and it's because obviously you don't know where anybody is. And what what I noticed on this map though is a lot of people have started to actually camp as well. That is only one of the main things I'm worried about this mode is because when you fire your hev your normal weapon as well, people do not know where you are. So. Um, a lot of people have started to camp, especially on the village. People were camping in the, on the top roofs and stuff. But anyway, let, we'll see how it goes. So you got your guns there. Um, I'm trying to use a sniper. <laughs> it's really, really difficult because, like, when I go into a m game, I'm right committed into using the P90 or committed to using a certain gun. So to come into this game and start picking up different weapons, it again goes out of your comfort zone. It builds up new skills. So the yellow um, lights or weapons, they're the ones you can pick up. I believe the purple ones is what you already have, so you can't pick them up there. Whoa, somebody just blew the hell out of me. To be honest with you, this game nearly finished. It's only like um, 8 minutes 47 on the clock. And uh, it's 36 to 25, so we're in a good position here. And the barrack, the barrack here, we got in 9 seconds. So I believe that everybody can see the spawn points. Look at that long range kill. Everybody can see the spawn points for the um, 
heavy weapons. And what's that? What's actually happened is it turns them into kind of like marking areas where people can camp out, put bombs around. So they're like your little treasure points if you think about it. So you can actually use them as a flank and um, to kill enemies to get a good idea of where the enemies are going to be. Um, oh, I love the barracks. Listen. Anyway, so we've got one more kill left, and I'm just going to finish this guy off with the barrack and end the game here. And that is it, so thank you very much for watching the video. Man, my quick thoughts on the classic mode of will come in the future. But until next time, take care and stay safe, and I shall see all of you guys later. Goodbye.